Hi Libra, welcome to your singles bonus love read from now until the end of the year. So uh, Libra's been pretty good at engaging, lots of comments and likes from the channel. Um, there is also a, a couple situation ship kind of married one as well that will also be uploaded. So if that's your situation, you actually have another bonus uh, read for those people. So go check that out. But if you are single, let's take a look at the love messages between now and I think we're going to go through till the 2nd of January 2020 just to get past that exciting New Year's Eve period and see what's happening there. Um, but let's get started. So love messages, please, for single Libras. Single Libras until the 2nd of Jan 2020. Oof, okay. <laughs> These cards, they're my favorite. Okay, single Libra. Thank you. Too many. Too many. Okay. Mm. Libra, someone from the past is coming in with an apology over this period. Um, okay. <laughs> but it does look to me like you're maybe not going to accept their apology. Um, let's clarify here. What's the seven of pentacles? Yeah, like this was someone who kind of stunted your growth ultimately. They didn't let, they didn't bring out the best in you or if they, if you thought that they did, you discovered somehow that that was all false and fake. Um, you released that toxic energy. It's gone gone um and you you literally separated physically and emotionally from them um you could have been dealing with a capricorn but that will only be for a few of you um anything else on the devil please in reverse yeah i think that you as much as you were trying to show them love and tell them how much you felt for them, they were never quite giving it back to you. And it was very unbalanced. The whole connection was unbalanced. The two of you could not grow. There were no more lessons to be learned here between the two of you. Um, may have been loss of money for some of you. What's the three of uh, wands in reverse, please? Three of wands in reverse. Yeah, Empress in reverse. Like you just, you didn't, you, you may have tried to have clung to it for a little while, um, but ultimately it you knew that it wasn't bringing out the best in you as a person. Now, I'm interested to know what this apology is. So, uh, sorry, what's the Knight of Pentacles here? Please? Oh, sorry, the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is person from the past card. So definitely um, someone you have a very strong connection with, uh, who meant a lot to you from the past, coming back in to offer this apology. Anything else? Uh, and I think it's a, an apology for their role in this toxic behaviour, maybe because I feel like they were always playing games with you. Like they knew how much you cared about them and that was that toxicity. Like they knew that you would have done anything for them. You would have given them anything and they almost used it against you. And that's where it stopped you being your best is the best way I can describe it. Anything else on the page of pentacles, please? Yeah. They want a new start with you, but we've got three of three of swords and the ace of uh, wands in reverse, which couldn't get any more. I'm not interested in you. <laughs> so I think that you, yeah, there you go, cutting away what doesn't serve you anymore. You know that the way they treated you was not fair, um, and you've you've actually found your worth. Is what I'm sensing. A lot of you. 
Okay, what is the ice in reverse, please? What's the ice in reverse? Yeah, and you're like, you know what? I'm at peace with this now. I'm really not interested in you. I'm not attracted to you anymore. Um, in fact, any, if anything, I don't know what I saw in you. That's 100% what I'm feeling right now with these two cards. I'm like, yeah, I don't know what, but you just don't look the same. Like, I see you differently now. I see your personality and your looks now. I'm just not attracted to you. So there's a real lack of attraction because you've healed from this whole thing so um they're obviously thinking about stuff this card in reverse could also mean that it's going to this apology coming in would destabilize you for a very short period um but i'm not sensing I, again you're in four of swords over here so it's a very short time frame and i'm more picking up that your life just using your sword to go nah yeah, but nah, thanks, but no thanks, not really interested. Okay, let's do your thoughts and feelings over this period. So Libra thoughts and feelings over this period, please. Libra thoughts and feelings over this period. Okay, so you might be reluctant to let them know that you've actually moved on. Um, and that you're not interested. And that could be because, look, as much as all this crap's happened, you you don't also want to be the one. You're too nice for your own good, Libra, is basically what it is. You don't necessarily want to be the one to break someone's heart because you're a good person and, you know, um, you do unto others and all that sort of thing. You don't need to have revenge all the time. So uh, I think that there is a little bit of resistance to be tell them everything like you might not be telling them that you're not attracted to them and all that sort of stuff you might be just nicely politely saying thanks for the apology but no thanks i'm okay it's still going to cause them some heartache um but yeah it's you're going to do it in a nice way because at the end of the day the opposite of hate is sorry the opposite of love is not hate it's indifference and you're here you're like yeah i'm okay i'm good I don't even want to talk about this past person anymore. I want to talk about who's coming towards you. So, who is coming towards Libra in this period? Let's go between now and the 2nd of January 2020. Who else is coming towards Libra between now and the 2nd of January? Any others coming towards Libra? Here we go. Okay, it could be a Leo um, or just someone who they just radiate good energy and positive vibes. Like a lot of people say this is the best card in the deck. Um, so, you know, it's pretty powerful energy card. Anything else for who's coming towards Libra, please? Who's coming towards Libra? Woo -hoo, way too many cards. <laughs> Was my bad shuffling? Mm, okay, so you guys might be keeping your relationship a secret when you first meet this person. Why is the seven of swords here? Okay, um, possibly because so there might be. Um, could be someone from your work. Uh, anything else? And it might be, you might, uh, someone or someone just disapproves. There could be a uh, female, maybe older, who disapproves of the connection. So this may be someone that is known to you and your family or you and your friends, but you're keeping it a secret from this Queen of Pentacles. They could be an earth sign. Um yeah, I feel like it's like almost like a mother figure potentially um, or someone who acts in that capacity, grandmother figure. You're keeping it a relate, you're keeping it a secret. Yeah, you're not you're not sharing it with anyone. You're keeping it to yourself. Um, four of cups in reverse though. You're not you don't love the fact that you have to keep it a secret. 
but you kind of accept it. Okay, most likely outcome for uh, the period between Christmas and New Year's. What's happening between Christmas and New Year's for my single Libras, please? Single Libras. I'm just making this up as I go. Okay, you could be dealing with a cancer. Whew, okay, you're going to have to make some really fast and quick decisions here. Um, it's going to be a very busy period, but you just need to trust that you'll be making the right decisions. You're exercising good judgment here. This is good judgment. So, but there's a lot to do. This is, I'm feeling like there's a lot of activity. It's very busy. You've got the chariot. Um, so, any more on that, please? Yeah, okay. So you may be neglecting your family and friends a little bit through this period because I think that you're going to have a lot of, um, it's like you've got a lot of stuff to do for yourself. Like you've got to get a lot done. It could be a lot of Christmas shopping. It could be, you know, you could be just going and doing errands and things like that for a lot of you. It's kind of like mundane, busy stuff for yourself and people want to spend time with you and you're like, I just don't have time to get get to it. Not related. If this isn't relating to a relationship, so this is definitely family and friends. Um, so yeah, I think you're just going to be super busy through that period. Who you've got coming towards you, it looks like a very positive, positive energy person. I think it's actually someone that is known to you through your friend group or your family group. And because of that, you're kind of keeping the relationship on the down low. Now, the time frame was um, between now and New Year's. Let's see if that works. Um, that will be for some of you. Otherwise, it'll be around that kind of time frame. Also, remember, look out for this apology that's coming in. Be nice. Be kind. It's a nice time of year. To, it's, kind, it's the time of year to be nice to people. Okay, Libra? Irrespective of what's happened to you in the past, two wrongs don't make a right, yeah? Okay, I think that's what I have. Um, we might actually do a very quick romance angel. Romance angel, please, for Libra. Any advice for Libra, please? let go of control issues. I definitely think that's tied to here, down here. So you might be making yourself too busy when you don't actually need to, trying to please everyone. And instead you're annoying people with this 10 of cups because people are like, I'm not even seeing you over this holiday period and you're not spending any time with us and come out and you're not coming out. So um, yeah, don't, remember to balance the control with the fun. You gotta actually live life Libra. All right, that's what I've got for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm giving away a free uh, personal read over the holiday period. So if you are interested in that, you will need to get the notification. So hit that notification button and I will see you probably for the weeklies or the uh, weekend reads. Talk to you soon. Bye.